Hey, I hope everybody's having a good day. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Guys, I know we unboxed the sublimation oven and we haven't done anything with it yet. That's because it's sold out everywhere, but in anticipation, let's just jump into it and let's test this thing out, right? Let's take, give this thing a spin around a block. We got our Sawgrass SG500, this, and we have a blank sublimation mug, right? Well, not this is not a mug, it's like a cup, flask, what do, you, what do you call this? In the comments down below. All right, guys, last time we sublimated onto this, we used a regular press and we did the ADEB Productions logo around it. But this time, since we have this baby, I want to sublimate all over the whole thing. All right, things that we're gonna need. This is what I learned while I was took my little trip to Heat Transfer Warehouse. We got the bag. This bag actually wraps around the thing, right? So you put this in here after you tape your item to it, right? After you tape your item to the thing, then you put this in here, and then you actually seal it up with a heat gun. Got this heat gun from Home Depot, 20 bucks. Seal it up, it seals it tight so that the uh, design sucks onto it, and then we cook it. This is gonna be fun, right? And guys, I promise, I promise, I promise, I was told in the comment section not to, <laughs> Not to put this inside of the oven. So I promise you guys I won't put this inside of the oven, right? Or should I? You guys, you, should, should I put this? In? All right, I promise you guys I won't. Right after the intro. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. just like that. Hey, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. There's one thing that you definitely want to do before you start this process is get yourself a tape measure and measure out the size of the stuff that you want to sublimate. Seven inches tall, nine and a half inch wide, yep. Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, you know, you guys know what I'm trying to say. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. We're going to jump into Creator Studio right now. Sawgrass Creator Studio. I created my doc, my um, image already on Adobe Illustrator. Um, just something that I'd like to see all over this mug that's going to like, let uh, make me like the mug. And mainly I just want to try to sublimate all over this thing and see exactly how much we can cover. So let's start, let's go to our galleries first of all. Um, well, I went to start creating, that's okay too. Uh, go to galleries and go to images and we're gonna upload an image right here. Go to upload image, click on that. And then we're gonna go to upload. Now we're gonna navigate to the image that we wanna upload, which is right here, sub cup. All right, this is gonna be promotion when I'm in a gym, when I'm going different places, press save right here. And I can have this with me and people can look at it and be like, oh, okay, all right, I see that. Right, so we're gonna go to blank products. I'm gonna just pick a page, favorites, eight and a half by 11. Then I'm going to go to galleries, my images. We're just gonna click once right here on our image. Boom, click once on our image and it pops up in the area right here. And okay, already I can see like a little issue right here. See these edges right here? I don't want that. I think I did something wrong in Photoshop, I mean in Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and crop the image and I'm gonna go ahead and draw where I want the crop to go. All right, that's sufficient. Go ahead and hit crop, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there's my image. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. And I'm looking at my size. I know I want it to be seven inches tall, right? By nine and a half inches. So let's see if we can get it to be nine and a half. That's really what I'm concentrating on, nine and a half inches. All right, there we go. 9.50. Can we type and dial that in? 9.50. Not, nope, can't do it. Can't type it in, so let's just try to get as close as possible. There we go. 9.5 by 6, 6.9, that is perfect. All right, so boom, got everything set up over here. 
looking good looking good looking good guys all right so let's go ahead and hit print looking good boom i'm gonna uncheck mirror because we don't want to mirror it uh select the sawgrass all right uh sublimating onto stainless steel tumbler text print r quality vivid everything else is good looking good guys i'm going to go ahead and hit print all right wait for my confirmation on the screen to pop up go ahead and select print manager so it pops up in the front look print manager is already loaded up right here boom and mirror is unchecked make sure mirror is unchecked because as you sublimate i think that's right unchecked right yeah that's right wait a minute i think i do want to mirror it hold on yeah well you know what yeah we definitely do want to mirror it we want to keep it mirrored because if i do it like that it's going to be backwards yeah it's going to be backwards so, so mirror it all right cool all right press print confused guys I'm still confused, actually. I hope it comes out right, though. But we're about to find out. So just waiting for our SG500 to start printing. But, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. All right. We're printing out right now. We are cooking on gas. We're moving right along, guys. Got my scissors right here. We're ready to cut this thing out. Only thing I need is some heat tape. I got some heat tape around here somewhere. Got to go grab some heat tape after I cut this thing out, guys. I'm excited. So like I said, make sure you guys are always measuring. Make sure you guys are always measuring to make sure you have the right size. All right, just trim the itches. Once you got the cut, I got these scissors that you can just slice and dice it like that. And it don't got to be perfect, guys doesn't have to be perfect it's okay all right just trimming off the excess trimming off a little bit of excess right there don't got to be perfect and now we're gonna um let me, let me look at it real fast look at it real fast all right what we're gonna have to do right now is you don't want to bake this part top part obviously so just pull it off if it can come off, yeah, cool. And then let me wrap it around for a dry fit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what I had in mind. All right, so let me get my tape. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Got a few pieces of sublimation tape ready to go, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the edge right here of my sheet of my paper all right and my heat tape Same sublimation tape is heat tape all right so now i'm going to come with my image i'm going to wrap it tight as i can around this mug i don't want it to move around this stainless steel tumbler going to kind of get it to overlap a little, just a slight bit. All right. Gonna wrap it around like this. And we want to get it as tight as possible. All right. All right. Make sure it matches up on the edges. Nice. Looking good so far, guys. Looking good. Got the bottom covered up. We're going to slip it in our sleeve right here. Ready for the fun part, guys? Ready for the fun part? I know you guys are, right? Let me move my computer to the side before we do this. All right, let's plug in our heat gun. All right, this part is going to be fun. Hmm. You ready? Let's 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 try to check it out.
very interesting. Look at this thing, guys. Look at this thing right here. All right, so what's that? what that's done right there is it created a tight seal so that our sublimation will not, <laughs> absolutely will not move. And now we can bake it and it is tight as possible. That paper isn't moving, it's not going anywhere, guys. Look at this thing. One thing I like about this sublimation oven is it doesn't, you don't have any instructions online or anything, but inside this little book, that's why it's good to look at the books sometimes, stainless steel bottle, 195 degrees Celsius for five minutes for one bottle. All right, so 195 degrees, that's what we need. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn it up to 195. Now that we have put the timers on, the machine is going to display these little wavy waves right here because it's heating up. All right, after it's heating, after it's done heating up, it says uh, preheating. Screen displays those wavy indicator lines. No time countdown. All right, so we're heated up and ready to go. So I'm going to put the tumbler. I'm gonna let me press start first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tumbler inside. Yeah, it's hot in here. Put that tumbler inside. Didn't burn myself or anything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in there and see what happens. Um, I'm thinking, is this thing gonna melt? Hmm. Hope not. <laughs> but we're about to find out, guys. So, uh, yeah, uh, five minutes, and we'll be right back. Guys, the good part about this is... Um, you can put a whole bunch of mugs, a whole bunch of cups in there at the same time, guys. So that's pretty cool. And we have our mittens to make sure that um, to make sure that we don't get burned when this thing is done. Okay. A Dub Productions. That's it. Time's up. You see that? I'm let it burn for a little bit longer. You know, because it said, nah. I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna see how this thing turned out. Got my mitt. All right, got it out. We want to test the, oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely hot. It's definitely hot. So uh, I don't even want to sit it like on my table. It's all right, the table can handle it, right? The table can handle it, but it is definitely, definitely hot, guys. I'm gonna let it sit there for a while before we peel it off. Cause this is definitely um, not, a, not a hot peel, all right? A Dub Productions. What do you guys think? You think it cooled down enough? Well, I can definitely touch it, so I'd say it's cooled down enough. So let's start peeling this off. All right, this is interesting. It's just snapping right off, like, interesting. It's just crumbling off. So cleanup is definitely in order after you do this, guys, because this thing is crispy. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, I like it. See a little bit of ghosting right here on the top and on the bottom. But look what I did. We went from this at first. Now we're, guys, guys, seriously? I mean, okay, it's not perfect right here, right? Didn't try too hard on the design. I just wanted to give you guys something on the cup. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is our first attempt using the sublimation oven. Got to get my skills up in this, but um, definitely works. Sold out. Links down below. Reserve one or something like that or, or pre-order. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you've ever used it. Let me know what you've done on it and go ahead over to the Facebook group, Facebook, a -Dub productions and post your stuff on the a -Dub productions, Facebook walls. I want to see what you guys have done with this. And I'm going to post this video over there also guys. All right. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Instagram, a -Dub productions, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy, Alan. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby? Oh, yeah.